What is good investors? I hope you guys are all doing great today. Totally forgot it was the month of October, so a little late, but I got myself a little decoration for the studio. So in today's coding video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a Z-score test and testing the Z-score of our financial ratios, whether that be the PE, the PS ratios. It's a test that I really like to do to compare a stock's, you know, valuation ratio compared against itself for a time frame of sorts. And this is a valuation method that I have talked a lot about. Uh, all my regular viewers out there know that I do really like this method. Luckily for us, the code is very, very short and very simple. So to make up for that, I'm going to be walking you through step by step of how to get your data prepared and everything um, so that you guys can do this automatically for whatever ratios you want to test. So I'm really looking forward to this video. Um, it's gonna be really great. And one more thing before we get into the video is that this is kind of all I've got so far for all my coding stuff. Um, we did the financial statement analysis using those simple you know, ratios or looking at our financial statements and making graphing. And now we have a Z-score test. These are about the main things that I really would want to use coding for in my opinion. Um, I'm still trying to, you know, figure out some other things, but like I want to start making, definitely I want to start making some sort of like valuation models, whether that be the dividend discount or something like that, which I've made those videos in the past, but I really want to update them. But for those, that's pretty just Excel heavy. So there's not really any automation that needs to be done because again, you got to kind of really play with these things. And I don't think automation is the best thing for that, especially when you have to do like forecasts and whatnot. So for the time being, until I get kind of another idea of something I think would be great to automate, um, this is going to be kind of the conclusion to the financial statement analysis coding stuff. But again, there's always going to be more videos uh, to hopefully teach you guys new things as I learned new things. And the next thing to be on the lookout for for these Tuesday videos are probably either going to be a modeling, so making some sort of um, financial model, whether it be again cash flow, discounted cash flow, discounted dividend. Uh, something like that or maybe a beginner's investing guide. That's something that I've been requested to make so I might do that too. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching through this video series as we kind of get to the tentative conclusion. Um, I appreciate you guys all sticking through. If you've learned something, great. I really hope and I really wanted to teach you all something as I learned these new coding skills. And again, once more, big shout out to Taewoo Kim. Um, if you're still making videos or you're still out there, or maybe you see this kind of my version of updating what you had, um, I really do appreciate um, all the you know front work that you did and really, again, really making me interested in doing coding to automate my financial statement analysis when I look at these companies. So Taewoo Kim, I really do appreciate um, all the hard work that you did to lay the foundations for me. All right, so that was a long introduction, but again, short coding video, so don't worry, but let's jump in to the code to my screen so I can walk you through step by step what this Z-score test um, automation on Python is going to look like. All right, so here is the code. It is, again, incredibly, incredibly simple. So the first thing we do is download what we need. We need pandas and we need this stats type of module and it's called scipy.stats uh, import z-score. So I'm importing the z-score function. The next thing that we need to do is read that Excel file into our Python code. So if you guys don't know how to do that, make sure to check out the other videos that I made in the past. I think it was the first video, but then we're just gonna move that in. There's where I'm putting in. So just change the name for yours. And then we literally just make a new column, call it z-score and we run a z-score function. So we're just using the data frame minus the data frame mean divided by the data frame standard de deviation. And that is about it. Now, there's also another way that you can do this. This is me actually making that z-score formula. But since we did import this z-score function right here, we can do z-score equals data frame, data frame dot apply z-score. And this will apply the z-score to it using this import z-score function that we did. Again, up to you if you wanna do that. Um, I just made it manually because I know the z-score formula. I'm sure you guys probably do as well. You can just Google it. But just to show you kind of what our data frame looks like in the beginning is that all I basically did in the Excel spreadsheet that I originally made is just literally just my PEs and then I created this new column z-score and that is how it is. So it's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. This number zero is going to be your most recent PE and this all the way at the end is gonna be um, your furthest one in time. So now that I told you guys that, let's just go through 
step by step where I get the data, what I do, just to get everything ready, you know, all the cleansing and whatnot, because this cleansing is just a little bit different than what we've been doing with the financial statement stuff. As you can tell, very different code, but relatively very simple. So the first thing that we need is our data. So I'm gonna use Adobe just because Adobe was the most recent company that I talked about on this channel. So as we can see, Adobe PE ratio, I'm on a site called Macro Trends. So it's all free. So thank you, Macro Trends, you are great. Um, all we do is just scroll down and here is Adobe PE ratio historical data. So what I'm gonna do is I am just going to copy and paste all of it. So control C right here, copying it. And then I'm gonna open up a new Excel file, right? This is that Excel file that we're going to need to basically import into um, our Python. So as you can see here, right, this is that test that I make. Again, I'm not sh showing you exactly what it looks like. I'm Our end result's gonna look exactly what like my data, data frame shows. So the first thing that I'm going to do to cleanse this data, and here it is all right here, is I'm gonna insert in a new row. So, you know, I, I could have just done, you know, paste it down one below, but whatever. So as we remember right here, go back to our data frame or our, uh, what we copy and paste. PE ratio was the furthest one. So I'm just gonna title this PE right there. And then literally the next step I'm going to do is I'm just going to shift and I'm going to delete everything. And you're probably wondering why I'm going to delete all this and uh, uh, there, man. I was, I'm talking and trying to, you know, do this all at the same time, a little, a little tough, but I'm just going to delete these columns. And you're probably asking me, you know, why would I want to delete everything? Well, it's because I know myself that this is the most recent number and this is the oldest. I don't really need to know anything else. I don't really need those dates there, but again, you could probably keep them, but I haven't actually tested the code to see if it would work with another date row here. Um, I feel like that's just a little bit more work, but again, you can get the dates in. It's, it's not the worst thing. You just have to follow the steps that we've done um, in the past. But anyways, so far, PE, and there it is. And then what you would do is this is your new spreadsheet. So for example, I called this uh, test right here, right? So you just title it test. So test or whatever you want. And then you save it. And then you would link that, right? This would be it right here. C users, Gabriel. It would be whatever your computer does, wherever you find it, whatever you did for the other codes, it would all be right here, all right? And then all you do then is you save it and you just run this code. And as you can see, these are the same exact numbers, right? 61.27, um, it's the same. And just to guys show you, I'll link in right here, just a screenshot of what my actual Excel looks like, just to show you that my Excel literally looks the same exact as this little Google spreadsheet. And the number one thing that we need to do to make sure that our data is good, especially again, when you first make one of these codes is you need to actually make a comparison, test it out, see if it works. So I have right here, uh, the Adobe Z-score stuff that I used in my last video. And just to show you guys that this is giving me the right numbers, here is the most recent PE, right? Go back here, 61.27. 61.27. This tells me that the z-score is 0.29. So we can go to my code. And again, I can literally just run this code if we want. So I'll do restart and run all. And I'll restart and run all just to make sure that everything is good. It's just gonna, there it is right there. 0 0.2913, 0 0.2913. There we go, guys. That's how you get that automated z-score. So then once you do that, again, you just, for every single other Thing you want to do i mean again i already have the excel made so i can just keep on plugging this into excel if i wanted to but again this is just another good way that you guys can just automate this stuff if you really want just find another company copy and paste change up your little spreadsheet a little bit um pretty simple pretty easy i really like it um it's fast it's clean um yeah guys that is that's how easy it is right it's not that hard um not a very difficult code to do. I think hopefully pretty easy to understand. Um, if you guys are interested though in how I made this Excel, kind of how the spreadsheet looks too, um, let me know and I can uh, definitely either link this um, and you guys can just have it so you can just copy and paste it or I can show you how to actually build one. Um, either one if you want it in Excel. Uh, again, is this as needed to be automated as maybe the financial statement stuff? Definitely not because uh, it's not as click heavy as you know graphing out financial statement ratios and stuff like that. But it's still, again, just really good to know more coding. You know, you can apply this to many other things in your life. But anyways, guys, that is how you make that Z score. So right now the PE of Adobe is 0.29 for the Z score, which is 
again, like I said in my Adobe video I made on Friday, actually kind of surprising, not that bad. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. Pretty simple. So that is all that I have for the coding right now. If you guys do have any suggestions in the future, you just, just let me know, drop a comment and say, hey, I'm trying to think about how to code this. Let me know, or what do you think? And I'd be happy to make another video on this. I'm no coding expert. Uh, I'm very far from being a coding expert. So, uh, you know, some things may be in my ability, some things may not be in my ability. I, but I'm always happy to try for you guys because, you know, uh, you guys are my viewers and I love you all and you guys support me. So, and I really do appreciate that all. So, thank you guys for watching this video series. I've had a great time doing it. As of right now, it's kind of over. If I find something that I want to add, of course, I'm going to be adding more updates to it. But for right now, uh, that's all I got for you guys. So thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it all. Peace.